uh, hi viewers uh, now uh, in the OET uh, we are going to do one exercise that is related to SBAR so SBAR second means this is second exercise that is you no need to mind and this SBA, SBAR is the uh, is the exercise we are going to see now its full form is S stands for situation B for background and A for assessment and R for recommendation. You see, situation means identify yourself. I am X example, I am X, I am a nurse and what I am gynecologist. I am that all comes into situation. I am calling about Mr. X because I am concerned about his condition. That also situation. These are all examples I am telling. I am very worried uh, about his condition. That is situation. Background means they are telling about the history of the patient. That is background. You see here example, she was admitted two days ago for a vaginal hysterectomy. That is history of the patient. Present history or past history. Present history. She has got hypertension and is allergic to codeine. So this is the background of the patient. It is about the patient. Uh, actually what uh, problem the patient having. Next is assessment part, your assessment, here example his BP was 65 by 40 and his pulse was 120 and he is uh, become unresponsive lately, this is uh, this and all assessment, you are assessing about patient condition. One more example, I am not sure what the problem is but I am very concerned about Mr. X. The, what the problem is, I am concerned about Mr. X's situation. But in the centers, if here I written what the problem, I don't know. I am not sure about the problem. So we have to focus this one. Otherwise, you will get confusion because about uh, concerned about Mrs. X like that sentence, we are already found here concerns about his condition and all. That is situation. Uh, but here I am not sure what the problem. So there is assessment. I am not sure. But assessing only we can say I am not sure what the problem is. If you are in the assessment, it's not clear. Then recommendation after assessing the patient, uh, if anything needed, we will make the recommendation. Example: Could you please review Mr. X? What would you like me to do before you get here? So these are the recommendations. So uh, this is the about uh, SBAR. This is uh, mostly uh, we will maintain while communication with the patient uh, or. Uh, to at the time of handover so in that these are the these are the uh, things will be present in the conversation they should be present it will be very helpful uh, to uh, make sure that uh, communication uh, will be completed perfectly okay so SBR is very important one in the conversation so here one audio they have given and related to that audio we have to uh, fill the uh, drop down list they have given below with these some sentence sentences also they have given based on the sentence which uh, uh, these sentences comes under in which SBAR it means in which uh, SBAR that we have to uh, mention here so we first we can listen the audio first then we will fill it kindly listen carefully hello Dr. Sinclair it's Violet Pauls I'm one of the nurses on the gynaecology unit. I'm calling about Mrs. Finley, who had a repair of a vaginal prolapse two days ago. Okay. Can you fill me in about her history? She's a 68-year-old woman who has hypertension and mild heart disease. She's had the prolapse for quite some time and finally had the repair done two days ago. Okay. What's the problem now? I'm concerned about her because she hasn't been able to pass urine for several hours and she's very uncomfortable. Right. When did she last pass any urine? The last time was five hours ago. I see. What about her OBS? Her BP is up to 150 over 90. It's normally much lower as she takes antihypertensive drugs. She's tachycardic as well. Um, her pulse is 96. And her temperature? It's normal, 37.2. Can you please come and review her as soon as possible? Sure. I'll come up in the next 10 minutes. Thanks. I'll let you know you're on the way. Yeah. So I listened um, 
99 percentage I understood the uh, words and all so I think I can uh, write it correctly so first sentence is she has had, she's had the prolapse so that is her past and it means history so she had the prolapse for quite some time and finally had the repair done two days ago so it is telling about its history it means it is background so I am selecting B and another one is she is tachycardic as well and her pulse is 96 so pulse it is assessment so I am selecting A another one is I am concerned about her because she hasn't been able to pass urine for several hours and she is very uncomfortable so this also concerns about her mm, because she hasn't been able to pass urine for several hours and she was very she is very uncomfortable so this is we can say situation because this is a situation and another one is I am one of the nurses on the gynecology unit so that also situation can you please come and review her as soon as possible this is recommendation because nurse is telling will you please come as she is recommending uh, asking to doctor so we are writing or I am selecting or can you please come and review this is recommendation her BP is up to 150 over 90 so this is assessment because after assessment only we can say how much BP it's violet pulse it's violet pulse I, I didn't hear that word in that audio uh, maybe this is situation once again I am going to play the audio please listen hello Dr. Sinclair it's Violet Pauls I'm yes Violet Paul I think the name of nurse I think so I am writing this is situation okay this is about the patient uh, about the nurse or about the patient that nurse comes under situation so now I am going to check check answer 6 out of 7 so one wrong which one third one okay what is that this red mark I am concerned about her but situation uh, because she hasn't been able to pass away for several hours this is uh, several hours maybe background if it is not situation then it is background only or assessment she hasn't been able to pass urine for several hours and she is very uncomfortable I think uh, assessment so here I am selecting now I am going to check again still ok then which one it is not situation background yes sure background yes because uh, in the past I already said uh, because he had in, hasn't been able to pass urine for several hours and she is very uh, uncomfortable that is the condition it, I think I thought this is situation uh, but it is comes under background ok so I am concerned about her because she is she hasn't able to pass urine here we can review one second what about this background she was admitted two days back she has got uh, hypertension and is allergy to cordin she is becoming very breathless in the last last of hour so like this this situation so it is comes under background ok anyway all is right uh, I hope you understood thanks for watching video